Differential Analysis Special Orders. Special orders are one-time orders that are not part of the company's normal ongoing business. Usually they are accepted if a company is under production capacity, allowing for the under capacity to be used for the special order. Let's look at an example. A company has a capacity for 10,000 units but is on average producing 8,000 units. This results in an under capacity of 2,000 which can be used to fill special orders. Special orders are one time and are usually expended, extended a special price, usually less than what they sell to their normal customers due to the nature of the transaction. The revenue from the order must cover all of the differential expenses of the order and provide a measure of profit. So let's look at a decision to accept or reject a special order of 2,000 units at $9 per unit. Based upon 8,000 units, which is what the company normally makes, these are all of the costs associated with producing 8,000 units on a per unit basis. Their normal sales price is $12. Now let's look and see what's relevant if they want to do a special order for $9. Well, the direct materials are going to be relevant because they're going to have to incur that cost in order to produce the special order, as well as the direct labor and the variable manufacturing overhead. The variable selling expenses also will be incurred as they make this order of 2,000 units. So the price to them is $6.75. This is the relevant cost when they want to consider set selling at a special price, special order of $9. What's not relevant is the fixed manufacturing overhead and the fixed selling and administrative expenses which will be incurred irrespective of whether they accept the $9 order or whether they don't accept the $9 order. So let's see if that's going to be profitable for them. The special order selling price of $9 times 2,000 units the relevant cost per unit times 2,000 units yields a special order profit of $4,500 and in that instance they would accept the special order. Now let's look at another scenario. The decision is whether to accept or, accept or reject the special order of 2,000 units at $9 per unit. However, the order requires a special tool. So we would have the same information as before, the same direct material and direct labor, etc., the same cost per unit, the same analysis. However, we must add the cost of the special tool to the other cost, the other relevant cost when considering this order. However, when we take all of these costs and deduct it from the 18000 we expect to receive as a result of this order, we see that there still is a profit of $3,750 for the order and so the company in all likelihood would still accept the special order. Now, what if a company would be economically indifferent to the, indifferent to the special orders of 2,000 units? How would that happen? Well, they would be looking at all of the costs, all of the relevant costs associated with the order. So they would be considering the fact if they were to sell this, they at least want to make $6.75 and cover the co their cost in making the order. The company could take or leave the order if the proposed sales price equals the relevant cost of the order. Now in what scenario would you go ahead and sell an, an item at $6.75 when it just covers your cost? If you have a downtime in your factory you want to keep your people engaged. So the minimum price that they would offer or that they would accept on an order would be $6.75 at that point, they could be economically indifferent unless they had a particular reason that they wanted to keep everybody occupied and, and go ahead and incur these costs and keep people engaged. Or if they have a, a selling price that's more than $6.75, they would consider it. Special order economic indifference, a company operating at capacity. So, so far we have looked at a company operating under capacity, but what happens if the company is operating at capacity? What are the dynamics there? And then we still have the same price per unit. We still have the normal sales price, but now we have 10,000 units because they're selling at capacity. So now our costs are $9.75. The relevant costs for a particular order are $6.75 and the not relevant or unavoidable costs are $3. The company is operating at a capacity of 10,000 units. The opportunity loss for a special order would be the contribution margin on a regular sale.
So in other words, they're operating at capacity. They can, they can sell everything that they want at $12 per unit. So if they were to sell a special order and give up an order to a normal customer, they would at least have to make their contribution margin in order to be able to say, I would be willing to accept that order. So that would be the opportunity lost if they sell an order to someone at less than $12 per unit. So that would be the opportunity cost they would be giving up. The cost of the opportunity loss would have to be added to the total relevant cost of the order for the special order to make economic sense. So if you were to accept an order and have an opportunity lost by accepting an order less than $12, not only are you giving up the opportunity to continue having a, com a relationship with the present customers, but you would also be giving up this opportunity cost Plus, you would have to, in order for it to make economic sense, you would also have to cover your variable expenses. So what would be the cost to a, uh, where you would be economically indifferent to a special order at $12, that they were offering you $12, which is what you can get from your regular customers. So would you want to get, take $12 on a special order and then possibly impair your relationship with your present customers? In all likelihood, not. So in all likelihood, um, you would probably ask for a premium for a special order. Therefore, the sales price at which the company would be indifferent to the special order would be the regular price. The company would be reluctant to sell to a special customer and not to regular customers. That would jeopardize relationships. Consequently, the economic inducement would be to sell the special order at a premium. So they may be willing to accept a special order if they were willing to, to, to pay more than $12 per unit.